After having achieved very good success in monitoring joining processes with pattern recognition and structure bore noise, we have now implemented a programmable interface for easy adaption to the manufacturing process. We have arranged the most important elements on the first page. Of course, a representation of the actual joining and assembly process. In this case, we have cut open a drive shaft with its counterpart and can easily see the circlip in it, which must engage in the corresponding groove. This process is critical and takes place inside the assembly so that it is not possible to check afterwards whether everything has snapped in. But while the component is being pressed together, frictional noise and emissions are caused by the engagement of the spring ring. The structure bore noise provides clear signals even at very low forces. This can be detected excellently by the structure borne sound sensors mounted on the outside of the process. In the picture below right, in the spectrogram of the QAS measurement technology, pulse mountains then become visible, which in the end enable the decision the retaining ring is correctly engaged. In the upper graphic, we visualize the statistical overview of the last joining processes. Here, different views can be selected, especially the shift overview. In this way, we always have the quality status of the series process in view. In the middle, we show the user the overview for the work shift, so that especially component types, production quantities, scrap rates, etc., the quality of the components are always in view. If we take a closer look at the process, we can see the actual structure borne sound emission data, which are precisely captured and evaluated by the QAS pattern recognition system. Based on the similarity value to stored patterns, we can judge whether it, it, it represents a snap-in signal. Here, the data analysis capability of the QAS high-speed computers is applied. At the end, only a small picture remains in the surface, which shows us the analysis is performed correctly. In the end, of course, it is of interest whether the component is found to be good or bad. On the second page, we list components that have been joined so far, so that you can get a quick overview of the process and view detailed information about the measurements. So what does the individual signal look like that was found? This helps our technicians and your specialists to optimize the processes. So let's run the analysis on another process. In this case, the required number of deflections has not been detected. The characteristic pulse-like signal is missing or the corresponding number of signals, strength and detection accuracy so that this component is marked as defective. The joining process has therefore not taken place correctly, which is visualized by the image and displayed in writing, stored in the database and of course communicated to the machine. The standard view at the machine is probably the shift view. The graph above offers different time periods and usually the system starts with the shift view, which should then show the scrap rate in relation to the parts processed in this working shift. The settings for communication with the machine can be made on a special page. Prerequisite is the appropriate registration rights. Then, settings can be made on the machine. For example, for communication by 24 volt input outputs, Profibus or Profinet. Here, the analysis modules, the programming of the detection networks can be made in detail. Or noise signal filters can be adjusted and set. Maybe we take a closer look at this signal, preferable the raw signal. We change the color display a little bit so that you can 
also see the background noises. The spectrogram shows us that we evaluate emissions, in this case up to about 400 kHz, and that in many frequency tracks. Additionally, a frequency mask is defined that suppresses basic signals, and when we press the preview button, we also see how the data is smoothed and filtered and how the interfering signals are suppressed. These are, of course, possibilities that the technicians use to optimize the detection accuracy, but they can also be used by your own users after appropriate training. Back to the standard user interface. Like everything else in QAS, the user interface is adaptive. In reality, it is a programmable building block. We now switch to the editing mode and can then arrange the individual modules differently on the monitor. It is easy to imagine that there might be room for a second interesting graphic or that the component does not move at all as assumed but has a different orientation in the machine. We can arrange it so that the user gets a good impression of his process. Once the processes and the graphics have been programmed, everything is stored in the database. It's automatically loaded with every project, with every type of component. Let's look at another example. The data remains the same, but we use a different visualization. And now, instead of the part and the view inside the part, we have a view inside the machine. Of course, if we monitor frictional noise when joining a component, we can also monitor working noises from the machine with the same precision. Machine monitoring is therefore possible with the same system. This means that QAS measurement technology can be adapted to the whole variety of joining and assembly processes, both in terms of evaluating the signals, not only of structure-borne noise, but also of force movement or distance sensors, and in terms of presenting the data to the user. And just as we adapt communication, analysis and user interface adaptively, we can also provide different data formats for your quality systems and additional evaluation tools. We have set ourselves the goal of creating customer-specific adaptions within 10 working days.